Hey everybody, today is June 23rd, and our reflection today is on our freedom in Christ. Our reading comes from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. It's Romans 7, 14 through 8, 2. And in this reading, St. Paul is talking about the two parts of us. The one part of us that wants to follow Christ and wants to be with him, and the part of us that struggles to follow God's will the old man and the new man within us, and how we have freedom in Christ in the midst of that warring aspect within us. So let's look at that reading some. St. Paul says that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal. What he's saying here is that the law that is given to Moses, the law of the Old Testament, is something that leads us in a spiritual direction towards God. But we, being physical, also follow after the flesh, the fleshly aspects of ourselves. And we're going to get at that a little bit more. He says, I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing that I hate. So he says, if I do what I do not want, I agree that the law is good. So the law is inspiring Paul to do God's will. So he knows that if he follows God's will, he is going to do what God wants and what he also wants. And while he is desiring to do God's will, he's struggling to actually do it. He says, so then it is no longer I that do it, but sin which dwells in me. And then he says, I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. So there's this struggle between our will and our own strength versus God's will and us relying on God's strength. So he's saying that he desires to do God's will, but he doesn't have the strength to do it. Now, if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I who does it, but sin who dwells in me. So it's the recognition that there's something within us, this presence of sin, that keeps us from following God's will. So there's our desire and our strength versus this other aspect of us. He says, so I find it to be a law that when I want to do right, evil lies close at hand. The church fathers talk about this often as this kind of spiritual reality of the more that we're yearning for God, the closer we're trying to come to him, the more we find these spiritual temptations close at hand. And we shouldn't be surprised about this. I think sometimes we think that if we're looking to do God's will and we're following after him, we're going to church, we're praying that we're not going to have spiritual temptations. But the opposite is true. It's in those moments that we're going to be striving after God and we're looking for his will and we're trying to follow his will in our life that the temptations are going to come. And that shouldn't let us down. That should mean that we're actually following God's will and that the other powers are trying to take us away from that. So take, take heart in that. And then he talks about the law of God versus the law of sin. He says that he sees within his physical body the another law that within his members, another law at war with the law of my mind and making me captive to the law of sin. What is he talking about? He's saying that in our body, we're, also, we're often pulled away from God's will. Uh, it, it's, he's not saying that the body itself is bad. And I think this is where a lot of Christians misunderstand scripture. They turn it into the spiritual life versus the bad body. We, you know, we even talk about when we die that we're freed from this body and that we're with the Lord spiritually. But this really isn't the Christian message because Jesus was constantly talking about the resurrection of the body. And he himself was resurrected on the third day. And then he says that he's going to come back and resurrect us as well. So the body is not the problem. The flesh is the problem. And what does that mean? The flesh is our fallen nature. It's the way that our body is inclined towards sin since 
the fall in the Garden of Eden. It's not the body itself, but it's our inclination towards following our own will and our own passions, negative passions, rather than God's will uh, with that body that is part of us. And then he says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. So there's a spirit, a spiritual law. He says the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus that's different from the Old Testament law and is also different from that law of the flesh, the law of sin. So there's something about Christ and being with Christ that gives us freedom. So let's reflect a little bit more on what that freedom is and how we become free in Christ. We read in St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, Galatians 3, 27, that all of us who have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. And this is what we sing in every baptism service. This is what we sing right before the epistle reading and during the procession. This is more than just a hymn. This is more than just a Bible verse. If we have been baptized into Christ, it says that we have been clothed in him. And then St. Paul also says, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So when we are baptized, when we are baptized members of the church, we are now members of his body. And we are no longer just us, but we are part of him. That when Christ ascended to the Father and he sent the Holy Spirit to form the church, he formed a body, a community. We are his body in this life, in this world today. And we are his witnesses to his resurrection and his being alive. So when we are part of him, we, in a sense, there's more to us than just us now. And Jesus said in John 8, 36, if the son has set you free, you will be free indeed. And we also read about the old man versus the new man. The old man being our fallen nature, our own will and desires that take us away from God's will versus the new man that is us being part of the body of Christ. So I want us to remember that when we are talking about our freedom in Christ, when we're talking about our body and our flesh uh, versus God's will, we aren't talking about the body being bad and the spirit being good. But rather, we are body and we are spirit, and our body is how Christ gets to know us through the sacraments, through the body and blood of Christ, through our baptism and our chrismation, through holy unction, through confession. All of these things are physical things that we bring our body and our spirit closer to God together. So today we are reflecting on our freedom, our freedom in Christ, our freedom to not have to follow after the passions that wage war against us, but to let that go and let Christ do the, do the battling for us. We don't have to fight that on our own because we have Christ. So I hope today you will take comfort in your freedom in Christ and that you will remember to let the Lord battle for you and the different things that you struggle with. I hope that you will join us tomorrow again as we have our next message from Pete Galanides and that you will join me again on Thursday as we reflect on our daily scripture readings. Amen.